This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Ex Obama DOJ official reveals staggering surprise Obama might dump on President Trump. By Norville Rose. How many times did President Obama say he didn't have the power to unilaterally change U.S. immigration law before he issued executive orders that tried to do just that? Thankfully, the Supreme Court blocked Obama's unconstitutional action that many decried as amnesty for millions of illegals. So why should anyone believe what a White House spokeswoman has just said about Obama's decision not to grant a blanket pardon to certain illegal immigrants he wants to protect from deportation? A former Justice Department attorney and a longtime watchdog over the integrity of the voting system says we need to stay vigilant against a flurry of executive orders and regulations to be dictated by this activist president, including a possible pardon that could have an enormous effect on hamstringing President Trump. The White House's top staffer on immigration matters, according to The Washington Times, said Obama won't pardon illegal immigrants before the end of his term, dashing hopes of activists who had pleaded for Mr. Obama to use his powers to shield hundreds of thousands of dreamers from deportation. However, J. Christian Adams, who used to work in the Obama Justice Department, warns, this president dot is inclined to remain an activist through the entire term. And that, Adams told a conference call sponsored by Bishop E.W. Jackson's National Awakening Coalition, does not bode well for the future. Addressing the concern that the president may go ahead and take steps to grant a pardon to certain illegal aliens, Adams, who now runs the website Election Law Center, said, heaven knows what he's willing to do in the last few weeks of his presidency. In addition to the fact that Obama could issue a blanket pardon for Hillary Clinton, Adams observed, the White House could call up DHS and say, give us the names of the thousands or tens of thousands of illegal immigrants who've been caught but have not shown up to their deportation hearings. Those are the folks, Adams contended, Obama could try to protect through a pardon. The founders wanted the president to have the absolute power to pardon, Adams explained, I promise you, there are people out there who would be happy as could be if President Obama issued broad pardons, even for illegally registering to vote. There are tens of thousands of activists who are calling for him to do this, said the ex-DOJ official. Speaking briefly about the man Trump has tapped to be the next head of the Justice Department, Adams had nothing but high praise for the U.S. Senator from Alabama. Jeff Sessions is the perfect pick for Attorney General. There's nobody better in my view that Trump could have chosen, Adams told those on the conference call. He has actively fought back against Eric Holder and Loretta Lynch in their lawlessness, Adams said, adding, he has a deep respect for the rule of law. Which is the very reason Adams predicted a big battle ahead in the Senate to get Sessions confirmed as head of the DOJ, as well as getting other tough-minded constitutionalists chosen for the Trump cabinet past Democrats in the upper chamber. Republicans hold the majority in the Senate, but Democrats hold enough seats to mount a filibuster against Trump appointments. Now the real work begins, said J. Christian Adams, noting, it's very difficult to undo pervasive institutional lawlessness, but that's the task for the next four years. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.